Brian getting ready for another tough game against Rangers, how are we feeling going to this one? Listen, I think there's a lot of positives to come out of the, the last game against Celtic, I thought our shape and our, our work rate was really good that day and just asked them at the time we need to be a bit better going forward. At the time we were just getting it really into the game and we lose a sloppy pass and then Celtic go and score but there was a number of things that I liked about that day and come Sunday against Rangers who are another top class side where it's going to be really difficult, we're going to need to be organised again and if we can go and be a little bit better in the final third and give ourselves a better chance in the game. Yeah, I mean, looking at the top six so far, the results haven't been ideal for us, but performance-wise, do you feel like there's a lot to build on there? Yeah, I think we deserve the point against Hearts. When we've watched it back, I think the goal we do concede is a foul. The referee doesn't give it, so listen, that's just a decision on the day. But I thought the girls were excellent against Hearts. I thought their work rate and their application against Celtic was excellent as well. We were under no illusions when we came into this top six. We knew how hard it was going to be, but I've been really impressed with my girls and I'm, I've been really happy with them. And going into this game against Rangers, what can we sort of take in terms of lessons from the last time we played them to try and improve this time? Well, the last game at Broadwood, it was 1-0 at half-time and for large parts of the first half I thought we were the better side. We'd really spooked Rangers that night. Unfortunately, we picked up two serious injuries that night as well, so we know what Rangers are all about. They're the reigning champions of the league, so it's going to be another huge task, but it's one that is a group that, why, that's why we want to be here, that's why we want to keep challenging ourselves and it's one we're looking forward to. Yeah, and you mentioned injuries, we've got suspensions as well. Is it going to be another game where the group has to really come together and, and fight for themselves? Yeah, well, I think he's seen against Celtic. I think we had three on the bench that day and two of them weren't even fit, but they, they still were willing to go on and help when we, we we had to make a few changes at the end. But it will be another patch up come Sunday with, with the squad and the suspension and injuries. But listen, that's what it's all about. you just got to roll with the punches and get on with it. We're not looking to feel sorry for ourselves. We're looking to go do what we've got to do in the game, where we're game plan and look to go and implement it. Is it about opportunities for players like Leah Robinson, Frey McDonald who have come into that Celtic game and, and played really well? Yeah, when I spoke to them prior to the Celtic game and my words to them were, it's an opportunity for you to say this is my jersey and I'm not giving it back. And to be honest with you, the, the two of them were excellent. Freya played actually right midfield and she's a right back and Robbo came in and I thought she was excellent. So the two of them deserve to be in the team. They will be in the team come Sunday because they deserve it. So I'm looking forward to it again. Thanks, Tim Brian. Thank you.